Well, good morning, my friends. The snow is beautifully falling. We have got quite a bit of snow in the past 24 hours, and it is not letting up. It's quite beautiful, and I'm so excited. I have nowhere to go today. I am staying in, and I am going to enjoy this day. Aubrey is off to school already. Colt is having his breakfast. He slept in a bit, and I am brewing some coffee, and I'm going to have my breakfast as well. And I'm going to eat in the living room, and I'm going to watch a Christmas movie. It's one that I watched last night. But again, it's so fitting for today. It is The Little House on the Prairie. Um, Christmas that they never forgot. And there is my toast. So I am looking forward to this day. It's going to be a day of just being at home. I'm going to work on my Christmas cookies, and I'm going to do some laundry. And I am just going to enjoy the fact that I have been given some margin of time to be home and I'm going to fully enjoy it. While Colt is down for his nap, I'm going to tidy the kitchen real quick, um, get a sink of water running because like to do my dishes, because um, I'm going to bake some Christmas cookies. At least when I get the dough done, um, I'm going to make my grandma's uh, cutout cookie recipe. The recipe for that is in the video. Um, for my cookie exchange collab, so that is there. And then I'm not sure what other cookies I'm going to make. Funny enough, I'm kind of short on some of the ingredients that I wanted to use. I wanted to make peanut butter blossoms, the ones with like the Hershey Kiss in them. I don't have Hershey Kisses, so that will have to wait for another day. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of look at my list of the things that I wanted to make. But for sure, we're doing cutout cookies. Okay, so I'm getting ready to make Christmas cookies, and one thing that I always do before I ever use my stand mixer is I just take a damp cloth and I wipe it off. Because it sits on my counter, dust and different things can fly in your bowl, and if you don't think about it, that's all going to go in your food, and we don't want that. So I just give it a quick little wipe. And there we go. Um, so I'm going to get going here. batches of the cutout cookie dough done and they are in the fridge. They have to chill for a few hours before you can roll them out and cut them so I'll probably do that sometime this evening. I'm not really sure when. Uh, it's about 2.30 right now I think or 2. <sighs> I'm so hot. I got so hot um, making that dough and cleaning up the kitchen I thought I was going to pass out. The heat was at 72. I turned it down to 67. I don't know if that's hot. I don't know if that's cold. I don't know what a normal temperature is to have a house, but oh man, I am roasting. So I'm in my room. I am going to put some laundry away. I've got lifts right there to put away. And I'm going to sit in front of my fan because whew, chicken is hot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to relax for a few minutes. Colt will probably be up any minute now. Um, and then in the next hour or so we'll head out to go get Aubrey from the bus. She gets dropped off in front of the house but it snowed so much I'm going to try and shovel the driveway 
a bit so it doesn't get too packed down with um, Shane when he comes home and um, pulls in the driveway because we can't park on the road now uh, due to snowplows. So, anyways, that's what I'm doing. I was standing in the doorway to get Aubrey off the bus, and this is what I did the other day. I just stood in the doorway, and the bus driver saw me. Aubrey got off the bus and came in, um, and so I'm standing here again, and a bus like flew by our house going so fast, um, and nobody even stopped and slowed down, and that's not really typical of her driver. Her driver drives very slow down the road, um, and I don't think it was Aubrey's bus number. However... I don't know if it's like a different bus with a different driver. Um, I don't know. Usually a, a, a bus at that time doesn't come by and it, sh it would have been the bus that she would, like it was the time. So now I'm concerned. It's now 12 minutes past when she's supposed to be due home and she's not home. So I'm a little panicked. Um, I'm going to go out and shovel. I've texted my mother-in-law because she's um, also an emergency contact for Aubrey. So just in case, like, the school can't get a hold of me for some reason or something. So I'm going to give this, like, another 5-10 minutes at max. And then I'm going to start making some calls and find out where my kid is. Because I'm really irritated. And I'm really irritated that that bus driver drove so fast down our street. Unbelievable. <clears throat> so her bus is just delayed. We did, I did call. Um, and at this point it's now 25 minutes late. So... <laughs> The bus driver forgot to call it in that uh, they were that they were behind. But <sighs> good, <laughs> I was so scared because that one bus that came down the road it was driving so fast. So I'm gonna shovel and um, wait for my baby. So at this point, she's now 40 minutes past due. I have shoveled all the driveway. I need to go check on Colt. He was just hanging out in his chair watching some kids YouTube which thank goodness for that because that'll occupy him for a little bit so her dog B and I are just outside waiting for my baby B Okay, so here's what happened with today and the bus situation. So <clears throat> in our school district, parents have to be at the end of the driveway for kids that are in uh, junior kindergarten and senior kindergarten. The parent has to be present for them to be picked up or for the bus driver to let the child off. Aubrey's in first grade. And on Friday, I had stood in the doorway uh, to get her like I our drive is fairly short you can see our front door from the street um, I waved she slowed down she had been slowing down anyways to let Aubrey off and it wasn't an issue and every morning I walk Aubrey up to the door of the bus so that if the bus driver needed to say something to me she could and um, so that if I had been in the wrong by waiting in the doorway on Friday, she could have said, you need to be at the end of the driveway. That wasn't the case. So initially when I called the bus consortium, they said that the bus driver hadn't um, reported that she was running behind. So at the time I thought, okay, you know, it's just a bit of a delay. And this was, she was already 20 minutes late at that point. And I mean, you can give like a 10, 15 minute delay window. I'm that's kind of what the bus, um, the website had said. So it was after that point, um, and so they were so kind and so great, and they said, yeah, the bus is running behind. So I waited 40 minutes, and then it was going on 45 minutes, and finally her bus was pulling up the street. And the first words that Aubrey said to me when she got off the bus were, mommy, you were the problem. 
And I said, excuse me? And because my daughter should not, first of all, she would have no idea to even say that to me unless that had been said to her. Um, and I said, no. I said, I was waiting for you and um, your bus driver didn't slow down to let you off. So what had happened was is Audrey had to ride the rest of the route and then be dropped off. And a little girl had said some really mean things to Aubrey, like, are you, are you going to be okay if they leave you on here a week and you're going to have to walk home and um, stuff like, are you, um, you're going to be dead and stuff like that. And so Aubrey came in and started bawling, just so upset that this little girl had said that sort of stuff to her. And I said, well, how old is this little girl? And she thought she was about 10, so much older than Aubrey, who's almost six, but still much older than her. And so I immediately, like once I got her calmed down, um, I went on the bus website to figure out if I was in the wrong. And I looked at all of their policies and procedures as far as like drop-offs and things like that were concerned. And they had nothing beyond kindergarten and um, junior kindergarten and senior kindergarten as to a parent being there at the end of the driveway or whatever um, to pick up their child. So I called and I explained the situation. I said, I don't want to be a problem here, but my daughter is extremely upset and I need to know if I'm in the wrong so that this doesn't happen again. I said, this was a 45 minute ordeal trying to find out where she was and waiting for her. Um, and if I'm in the wrong, I want to know so that I don't screw this up again. And I wasn't in the wrong. So, um, she saw that Aubrey was in first grade and she said, no, she said the bus driver should have let her off. And um, I said, well, I'm always here. I said, I don't go anywhere. I'm always here. Um, and so anyways, the consortium, the operator is going to contact the, the consortium and, and tell the bus driver, like, you got to drop the kid off. <laughs> so... Anyways, that's kind of what happened. Um, I certainly don't want to get the bus driver in trouble, but at the same time, you should not be talking to my child in that regard that her mother is the problem. That should never have been said. And um, secondly, she was in the wrong. She blew down our street so fast. And we live in a little subdivision, um, and the speed limit is very low. And she was going so fast. Our roads are completely snow-packed. You cannot see the road. It is white as white can be, completely snow-packed. And she was going so fast. I wouldn't go that fast in my four-wheel drive truck, let alone a school bus hauling children. It was, that was unacceptable to me as well. So, anyways, that's kind of what happened. Um, hopefully it won't happen again. And like I said, I feel bad because I don't want to get this bus driver in trouble. And I totally like took it from the point that, oh sorry, my hair. Um, I said, we're very new to the system. We are not even a week yet in. And I just want to make sure that um, we don't <laughs> screw this up. And I was in the right. So she's home and she's a little upset. She'd been pushed by a boy today, um, an older boy. She's had a bit of a problem with him. Um, and on their playground the older kids are not supposed to go where the younger kids are and somehow the older kids are going where they are and she's had uh, some problems with him um, and so today he pushed her and she fell and got a bloody nose and so um, he did get in trouble he had to stay in the office all day and do like office work and whatnot I guess but um, tough day for my peanut so I'm making her favorite food tonight which is like um, Kibasa, so I'm just gonna saute it, make, make some pasta, and kind of put that over it with a bit of a homemade Alfredo cheese type sauce um, and some veggies. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know how much more I'm gonna film tonight. Shane is late, and I am sorry with some of these vlogs that I'm just so chatty and not really showing you a whole lot. Um, those are just the breaks some days, I guess. <laughs> Some days are a little bit more active than others, and today has been more of a low-key-ish kind of day, so with lots of talking. 
Um, anyways, I, I may just end the vlog here. I think if I do something with my cookies tonight, I'll turn on the camera and kind of share that with you at the end. But I think I'm just going to pull my family in tonight and cuddle them, snuggle them, and just help them feel at peace. Um, the good news is, is that when these situations happen where things happen that are out of the norm and that can be a potentially, um, I don't want to say traumatizing, but traumatic because my kid was bawling. Um, when those sort of events happen, it is a pullback for me as a mom to address some of the core issues or the core values of our family. And I said, Aubrey, I want you to know that as soon as you were late, mommy was texting with grandma. I was calling the bus stop, the consortium. I was texting with daddy. I said, we were looking for you. And we will always look for you. You will never have to walk home. You will never have to stay all night. And you will certainly never stay all week. You need to know that there are a network of people who love you, who are fighting for you, and who will always come after you. And um, when things like this happen, because we've had some other instances in the past of just goofy random things happening, but these are the times where I center in and focus and reassure her that this is who we are. We love you. We are fighting for you. We will find you. We will bring you home in whatever capacity that means. Um, God forbid anything serious ever happens to my children. Um, I pray against that every single day. Um, but I need them to have that foundational truth that their mommy and daddy love them to the core of who they are and that there will be nothing that they can ever do that will stop our love for them and that we will always fight for them and we will always look for them. My camera keeps cutting me off. What I want to say is, is that when these moments happen, this is a pullback for us as a family to solidify and firm up those foundations and those things that we believe as a family and to remind one another and especially to remind our children how we will always fight for them, how we will always love them, that there is nothing that they can do that will ever take away that love that we have for them. And it is pause for reminder to instill and reaffirm those things in our children so that they will always grow with the knowledge that we are always fighting for them we will always love them and we will just will never stop god forbid something should ever happen to my children or to myself or to shane but i want them to always know who we are as a family and who we are as parents and how we love them and that love will will always fight for them no matter what so that's just kind of the point we're at tonight. <laughs> we're going to cuddle, we're going to snuggle, we are going to um, listen to our adventures in Odyssey, and we are um, going to remind ourselves who we are as a family. So, that's our night. <laughs> um, I will see you guys in my next video. I think tomorrow, maybe my grocery haul. Um, I don't have a whole lot that's going on tomorrow, and I have a feeling it'll just kind of be another one of those dull sort of days so I think tomorrow I will um, insert my grocery haul so you can look forward to that because we have n not got groceries in weeks and weeks and weeks so it's a pretty big haul and if you like that kind of thing you might like it and if not well we'll see you in the next vlog thanks guys for everything thank you for your sweet comments and for watching and for taking a peek into to our life and for always being a constant source of support and care and love for our family. So you guys are awesome. We think of you, we pray for you, and we, we love you. Hope you guys have a great night and I will talk to you later. Bye. We're wrapping up the night with the Grinch and popcorn and hot chocolate.